everybody welcome to my channel tonight I'm going to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion part one and let's get into this reunion so the first few minutes of the reunion was kind of boring because they were talking about private parts and they were talking about the surgeries they got so I just was like uh, no one cares but then the subject turned to Kenya versus Sheree now in the season Kenya and Sheree were having a petty little battle between whose house is better and they're talking about each other's houses and Kenya pointed out the fact that Sheree does not live in her house. Kenya said that you were not living there. But yes, I am living there. So Sheree says that she has indeed been living in her home, even though there's rumors that say that she had to move out. Now, Kenya, on the other hand, is saying that she does not live in her home. And Kenya is so messy. I drive by her house all day and night, and there's never lights on. It's pitch black at night. Now, Kenya, why are you driving by her house? <laughs> I don't understand this at all. She's just super messy. The same way she was trying to go into Ray's basement to see if it was done. Kenny is just being messy. But I couldn't help but notice that Sheree was fidgeting a lot when this discussion came up. So maybe she lives in her home part time, but she doesn't want people to know, okay? This is her business. I can put two of your homes in my unfinished basement. Guess what? I could pay for my house, though. So the argument went on and on. Kenya and Sheree were arguing about paying their contractors. They're arguing about their house fixtures. They're arguing about the tax liens, which it was rumored that um, Sheree was hit with a $300,000 tax lien. But that's a rumor. Anyway, they were just arguing about all this stuff. It's just the pettiest thing ever. So Sheree pulled a Porsche move and said that Kenya had a rich African pay for her house. I didn't have to have a rich my African from uh, that Bailey's was married put my down payment on my house. <laughs> so to deflect from the subject of house payment, Sheree brought up the old rumor that Portia originally spread about Kenya messing with a married African man who was a billionaire. So apparently this man was paying Kenya's house payments. And it seems like African men in Atlanta are all the rave. You always hear about some rich African prince trying to snatch up one of these housewives. It's so funny. She tried to tell him that her car was wrecked so that he would give her the money to buy another one, and he wouldn't. And that's when he gave her the reunion. money for the house. Last True tea, year. bitch. Now, Portia, I don't even know if we can trust your tea because you have been spreading the most crazy rumors throughout this whole season. But I'm going to sip anyway because sometimes lies are entertaining. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway, after that whole scene between Kenya and Sheree, the conversation moved on to Phaedra and they talked about her good deeds. And you know, Phaedra is a Southern belle, so she likes to keep up appearances and do good in the neighborhood. And the conversation took a different turn. So during this season, Phaedra and Kenya had a budding friendship. However, drama ensued once again when Kenya decided to throw Phaedra a divorce party. Now, this was very inappropriate because Phaedra hasn't officially divorced from her husband, Apollo, yet. And plus, she's struggling with the divorce. So the fact that Kenya threw a divorce party for Phaedra and Cynthia, because they're both going through a divorce, it was inappropriate and out of place. And Phaedra took it to heart because of the history between um, her husband, Apollo, and Kenya. You were disrespectful of my marriage. That was not true. And you true. cannot deny that. Now, I'm surprised that Phaedra is still bringing up this issue between Apollo and Kenya, even after Kenya proved that she wasn't messing with Apollo. But Phaedra brought it up again, and it's just rehashing old drama. And it's kind of strange, and it's pointless to bring it up now. She texted my husband, and that's a fact. When we were in Anguilla, she said, oh, would y'all like to have a threesome? So Phaedra and Kenya continued to cackle on about how they fell out over the DVD thing and the Apollo situation. And it was just pointless because Kenya already proved to Phaedra that she did not have any relations with her husband. So the fact that they're bringing it up now kind of shows that Phaedra isn't over this and she's been harboring these feelings for a long time. You have been the most really? boring person oh, on this so show. Boring. Well, you keep uh, screwing the same old man in the back of the truck, girl. Child, that Matt Shade. Anyway, the conversation moved on to Portia and her anger management. 
So in the season, Portia was working on controlling her anger, but she didn't want anybody to know that she was going to anger management. However, Phaedra let it slip out that she was working on her anger. Portia wanted to share with everybody about your whole anger management thing. So, I said that's what I wanted to do. Portia was angry that they brought up her anger management issues. In fact, she got pissed off at Candy and at Kenya. We, yeah. If you don't get out of my face. Kenya can provoke people. And this one right here, Candy, there's something wrong with that bitch. So that whole issue was brought up on the reunion. And I found it interesting that Portia didn't get mad at Phaedra for bringing it up in the first place. Now, she did call her and kind of discuss that whole issue with her. However, she didn't get mad at her or blame her for bringing up her anger management. Instead, she got mad at Kenya and she got mad at Candy. So Candy was side-eyeing Portia because Portia was making excuses for Phaedra. See, when Phaedra and Portia had a problem, Portia was able to call Phaedra and let her know, hey, I didn't like this. However, Portia never did the same thing for Candy. Instead of calling Candy to settle out their differences, she attacked Candy throughout the whole season. So it's clear as day that Portia shows special treatment to Phaedra. Now, we're going to see how their relationship turns because next season, I think feel like Portia and Phaedra are going to fall out. I just feel it. But for now, they're going to keep cool. Now, Portia also comes at Kenya and she says that Kenya is an evil person and she always provokes people. She Question. loves to provoke people. You are an angry person. You okay. are really evil. Portia is right about Kenya loving to provoke people. And this is what I say all the time when I'm watching this. Kenya specializes in getting under people's skin. And while Portia was trying to walk away from her, Kenya kept saying, am I triggering you? Am I triggering you? Stuff like that is the reason why you get dragged on marble floors. You don't do that to people, especially when they're already upset with you. She did the same thing to poor little Kim Fields last season. And I couldn't bear to see Kim Fields being attacked like that. So yes, Kenya is a provoker and you cannot deny this fact. She loves to get under people's skin. So after Portia and Kenya finish arguing, Portia decides to get into it with Candy. Portia gets upset that everybody is clowning her for going to anger management. And she's like, all y'all do is criticize me. I'm trying to better myself and I'm trying to grow and blah, 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 blah. And Kenny is like, um, excuse you, I have always supported you in every single thing you've done. I've even donated money to your cause when you're on Celebrity Apprentice. So don't even try it. So they go back and forth and it's just... A lot. I only Give you the to right to belittle them, win, honey. Vicky, I'm I not gonna be bought into win. not speaking up so to your ass. Oh, that was such a headache. Anyway, this is going to be a draining reunion. Um, Candy and Portia have some deep issues with each other, so we're gonna see them fighting a lot over the littlest stuff. But of course, the major fight is gonna happen. I think a few episodes later. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this channel. And I hope you enjoyed my review and I will see you next time. Bye.